All right, so in this example, um, we're, we're told to define the random variable x to be the number of girls in a five-child family. And we're told that the probability of a female birth is, is um, 0.5, right? So we're calling a, a success is going to be defined as a girl, okay? And we have n trials because, because we have five births. We have five kids in the family. So the number of trials is five. The probability of success is 0.5. Probability of failure then would be 0.5. Okay. So if um, so, again, the, the, the success or failure is you know it's just a, an outcome and it's complement. We're going to assume that it's either going to be a girl or it's going to be a boy. All right. That's the assumption that we have to make. And so the probability of a girl is 50%. Probability of a boy is 50%. All right. So this is very, very much like that last one. Um, we're just going to go through and calculate those probabilities of every possible outcome. Probability that we have zero girls, the probability that we have one girl, the probability that we have two girls, probability that we have three girls, and so on. We're just going to keep we're just going to calculate all those probabilities. And we're just going to use the formula that we have, right? So um, so I'm just going to write these all down. Sometimes it's easier to go work in columns, I guess. So um, the formula says that we're just, you know, we're going to, we've got uh, the combination of five things taken to zero at a time, right? We got n and x. And then we're going to take p to the x. So in this case, it's 0 0.5 to the x, which is 0, and um, 0 0.5 to the fifth power, OK? Now, one thing to note is that um, the number of ways to choose 0 from 5 is 1. <laughs> and also, anything to the 0 power is also 1. So really, all you need to do for this first calculation is put, put 0.5 to the fifth power into your calculator, all right? And you get. Um, uh, 0 0.03125, okay, that's the result that you get. And we're just going to keep doing that. So in this case, x equals 1, so we have 5 choose 1, uh, 0 0.5 to the x, which is 1, and 0 0.5 to the x minus, uh, and minus x, which is going to be 4, okay? Put that into your calculator, you get uh, 0 0.15625, okay? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of that. All right, so I've calculated all of those probabilities now, and I can just put them in my probability distribution table down here. So my outcomes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? And my probabilities I can just copy from what I have above. All right, so I have my tabular probability distribution, and now I'm going to do my histogram. Now, I, I want to look at the range of what we've got going on here. So um, we're going to have anywhere from 0 um, uh, up to 0.3. Okay, now I have a lot more than three um, grid lines on here. So I'm actually going to make every two grid lines, I'm going to make 0.1. So that way, I kind of use my space here. <laughs> so 0 0.3. Okay, so then this is essentially, uh, this is 0 0.15. This is 0 0.25. This is 0. Point, oops, sorry. That was <laughs> 0 0.15. And oops, hang on, I'm backwards here. Um, sorry. Uh, this is 0 0.05, right? Okay, getting ahead of myself. So this is 0 0.05. This is 0 0.15. This is 0 0.25, right? And this would be 0 0.35. Okay. So I don't really even need those intermediate values. But now I'm just going to graph what I have here. So um, so 0 0.03 is about there. OK, so I'm just going to sketch that in. Um, and then I'm just going to keep going. 0 0.156, so uh, let's put that in about, uh, about here, I guess. And um, just draw my little bar and so on. All right, so there's my probability distribution, both as a table and a histogram. And the last question is just asking us to compute the mean and the standard deviation. 
And because this is a binomial distribution, we can use those nice little formulas. So the mean is equal to n times p, right? Which is, we have five trials and the probability of success is 0.5, so 2.5, right? So that kind of makes sense. The average is, on average, 2.5 girls. Half of them are gonna be girls and half are gonna be boys. Of course, if with five trials, you're never gonna get, get 2.5 girls. You're gonna get two girls or three boys or three boys and two girls. Um, but that's our mean is <laughs> 2.5. All right, the standard deviation is just going to be the square root of NPQ, right? So square root of five times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. And uh, square root of all of that is 1.11. All right, so got a couple more examples. I would suggest looking ahead at them and giving them a try on your own. And um, I'll meet you in the next video.